GEO 21 came to our last town board meeting to encourage support of more rail movement uh, within our country, our state, and our, our county, which could include the town of Pahrump. Now, economic development is, is uh, a big factor, and when you don't have a rail system or a, a major highway to get your goods in and out from distribution points or from manufacturing plants, that's a problem with drawing large economic development. Uh, a few months ago, I was contacted by a group, by the uh, nonprofit group called Geo 21, and asked if I would, you know, support the initiative as far as rail traffic um, within our, again, within our country, state, and county. And um, I took it to the town manager, and the town manager said, you know, why don't we take it to the full board? It'd be really nice to have the full board's approval. So at the last town board meeting, it came up, and of course, it was on, uh, a no motion, so it was denied. Um, I have gone ahead um, because I had been contacted initially for this and on just representing myself, not the town, uh, have signed letters to uh, Senator Reed, um, Senator Ensign, and Congressman Heller, who are three of the big sponsors and, and pushers of different bills uh, in the federal level to improve rail traffic. Now, some people think that um, by improving rail traffic that we are going to lose trucking jobs. That couldn't be the farthest from the truth. If the, if the material was read and the backup was understood, that the, uh, there will be a, more of a need for truck drivers with, within our country with the improvement of rail. Let me just give you a few statistics. Um, freight rail expansion will create thousands of good green jobs and encourage overall employment and economic growth while strengthening many of Americans' good producing industries, thus creating more jobs. Um, moving freight by rail will benefit the public in, in a few ways. One is uh, more fuel efficiency. One freight train can move a ton of freight, an average of 480 miles per gallon of diesel fuel, nearly four times as much as a truck. Okay? A cleaner environment. Everybody wants a cleaner environment and to reduce greenhouse emissions. This will help with that. Less traffic on our already overcrowded roads and bridges that, it, that we know are falling down. There's been accidents over the years. So we don't, uh, we want to we make sure that, you know, we, we do it better. Um, again, intermodal freight transport combines the best attributes of both truck and rail shipping for long haul distance. This can cut fuel use and greenhouse gas emissions by up to 65%. And this is, this is a fantastic number because we all know that we want to, again, be greener and we want to create jobs. Again, rail traffic will create more trucking jobs, but do it more effectively, efficiently, and cleaner. And this is why I'm supporting the GEO21's initiatives to, along with a multitude of other state, county, and local representatives across this country um, to, to support the initiative to uh, beef up the rail system in this country. Could we use a spur into Pahrump so that we could generate more economic development and create more jobs? Yes, we can. You don't seem to have uh, all of the support on the town board, I'm afraid. There is, there is not a lot of support in the town board. Um, I won't go into the, the reasons that each individual has their own uh, agenda, but uh, we do know that the board has been divided for some time, and uh, we'll see what this current election cycle brings up All as right. to uh, if we have a more con concise or cohesive board, or if we have uh, uh, a fragmented board still. Okay. What's next step? We've got the letters going back and forth. What's next step? It is on the Senate and the Congress to use some of these uh, stimulus money or to just budget out of regular uh, budget money to increase, uh, again, not only the, the upgrades in rail, they're, they're also offering some initiatives, um, or they want to offer some initiatives, um, up to, I believe it's 25% back in initiative taxes on large businesses that utilize and combine their business with rail.